Hi, I'm Nancy from Cooking with Nancy's channel. Now, I'm, I've just cooked a very nice big pot of bak kut te. Bak kut te is very famous Asian um, soup, herbal soup uh, in uh, Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, in Malaysia, we have the klang or K-L-E-N-G. Klang, bak kut te. Because Klang is a little town very famous for its bakute. But in uh, Malaysia, we don't pronounce it as Klang, you know. We pronounce it as Klang. Klang is a Malay way or Malaysian uh, way of pronouncing it. Although the spelling is K E L A N G or K L A N G, everyone knows it as Klang. K uh, but tonight, I've cooked a uh, Singapore bakute. It's very simple. You go to the shop and you look for the packet and it says there's Singapore bakute. And all you do is follow instruction. Put in water, put in the herbs and boil with lots of meat or bones and you have a very very tasty soup. Also, I'm giving you small little tips. Instead of just uh, serving the plain bakute, I have actually um, boil some eggs uh, to make it hard boil and then I dip it in cold water and I remove all the shell and I drop it in. Also uh, to add vegetable to my dish I have here some choy sum which is a very famous uh, Chinese uh, vegetable everyone knows. I've just removed the stem separate the stem and the leaf because the stem takes a longer time to cook. Right, have a look at the wonderful bakut te. This is how it's looked. And I've also added um, tofu, the hard firm tofu in it. Right, and uh, what I have in here is the uh, hard boiled eggs, which I have boiled earlier on hot boiled eggs to add into the bakut te. Bakut te is all made from herbs. Singapore bakut te made from all these herbs and uh, it's very very tasty. This is the black date and that one looks like goji, goji berries. In Chinese we call it keiji uh, in Cantonese. All these are very good uh, for your health. So all I have to do is scoop it into this pot scoop this into your pot see it comes in this packet uh, all the herbs are in this little packet here so you can throw that out and that's the herb forgive my bird for always making noise because he wants to eat every time he hear me talking Okay, I love you too. I love you too. I've used shin meat as well. Okay, now I want to show you. Um, some people have asked me before, how do you do? Because uh, Chinese know how to do this, but other races do not know. You know how to make this uh, blanched vegetable. So. I get the opportunity to show you now. Any vegetable, green veggie, you can add in. And then uh, cook it very lightly till it is just cooked and tender. It will take only about 2-3 minutes on a high heat. Um, in the meantime, I can just continue to put a few in there. Right. Don't overcook it. I will just remove the green. Remove the green. You normally do this in just plain boiling water. But since I have a nice pot of soup, so I might as well throw it in the soup and it becomes more tasty. And I don't need to use lots of soy sauce later. That's actually ready. Shoot, no, really sorry. Right. That will be the green. If you go to Chinese uh, yam cha, 
you find they have all these green vegetables because there are lots of meat around and this is one form of veggie okay after this you can add your oyster sauce and soya sauce just drizzle oh this is a nice thick sauce all right that will do if you put too much it becomes a bit too salty and uh, just a little bit of soya sauce or none at all because it's already very tasty and put some a dash of pepper and you're ready to go ready to serve you can also sprinkle a little bit of uh, sesame oil on top or you can also add some fried onions or fried garlic or even um, sesame seeds uh, just one second i've got sesame seeds right in front of me so why not my hands are clean i've already washed and washed and washed but anyway i'm going to eat it not for anyone <laughs> just myself my son and bon appetit enjoy and this is how the soup will look like and you serve it with a bowl of steamed rice thank you and bye